this video we'll learn how you can set up a game for android in unreal engine 5 also thank you so much for your words because uh, depends on your word i am making this video also currently you are watching tech learning and hi i am sajal hussein and i am a game developer and level designer in soft tech engineering so let's start so first of all in unreal engine for making an android game you can select the games and then for example they give you some templates that ready made presets or templates you can by using them you can create your game so we use the vehicle template because in this template we have a vehicle mesh some vehicle system and etc then you find the blueprint option and then at the target platform you find mobile or desktop so basically for mobile and then in a quality presets you find maximum quality scale the maximum is basically it will give you most realistic quality and scale means it's give you quality but better performance the ray tracing not support in mobile so we can't enable but if you have rtx so you can enable i have currently rtx so i can enable but for my because we are making this game for mobile so you're not enabling the ray tracing then you can give anything your project name then create i already created a project and it will be save our times because we want to learn the android export and ntc our main part of that that's why <coughs> so i already create uh set up the vehicle and create a simple ui and instead of that i create uh, two but i add four buttons so others i will demonstrate you how i set up like this thing and then i add some codes to control this vehicle with go stop back and left right and steering okay so as a result you can see that by this button i can control the vehicle okay okay so now let's set up the buttons for the right and left also so you need to make sure that um you have some icons or you can make from scratch by using photoshop i already created so i will just simply import so here's a right one and then i need one more so what you can do you can basically I'm sorry uh, you can basically rotate that in right or left so you can use the foot, uh, foot editor and you can basically rotate that because this is a transparent image so for transparent image you, you can't basically uh, use the opposite one that's why so here then you need to make sure that you select both of them or whatever whatever it is the image then go to speed actor then apply 2d uh, texture settings so it will be automatically set up the texture for 2d so it will be redirect your game size so make sure you apply this thing if you are importing any custom image okay so once you do that uh, then we need to basically open our ui and then select this button and you need to give a size so in my case i'm giving 150 150 by 150 and then you need to search uh here you find the basic one option make sure that all the image in a uh, the border uh, the round border to image because or your image will be get a error okay or it will be not work then once is this thing done you can search b okay by searching b you find all the brush image and then from your content browser you can drag and drop your image so like that okay great compile and save then same for another one so you can skip this thing by more easily <clears throat> you can just simply delete that and duplicate it and set up at here so i'm just set up in like at here so it will be more easy to navigate okay we need to just make sure we, we do everything correct and then at here we need to just set up here the brush or when you just change the image we don't need to set up the size and other stuff okay it will basically save your time okay once you do that you need we need to just now add the codes okay so just go to uh, the graph and here's our left one so compile let's see why is the error on here so left one on press and on release so we need to just connect these two code with our code okay connected to stop okay now everything is pretty much working well okay the left right so we need to make sure that we set up the gravity quickly or the right side the gravity is basically the anchor point so let's select both of them and make them in a slide okay make sure the anchor point in the corner okay this one compile and save 
so okay we have now like this okay now we have button buttons for control of our vehicle we can go forward left and right so as you can see in the background our joystick coming so we can remove that so just go to your project settings or you can do one more thing you can add a code here that on even begin play you can search that get player controller and from the control you can say that set touch yo uch touch or oh, this should be option that touch interface yeah this one activate a touch interface so at here you can set here that at the clear one so it should be work the it should be set up the clear one so apply yep as you can see our the joystick button has been gone so now we can control with our buttons okay so yeah there's pretty enough good we need to just do some adjustment and our button will be great the compile and save okay all the setting is done in our game so we have a simple game okay now let's learn about the game optimization and export and etc so first of all we need to make sure that what is the basically this a uh, game texture uh, okay like we need to understand the texture that what is the resolution so you can search that the textures let's see what is the resolution so as you can see this is a 4k but for mobile game the 4k is not support so highest we can use 1024 so select all and then right mouse then asset action then bulk edit and then go to compress mode and at here you find the compress uh, then maximum texture size so set here that 512 or 1024 because this is a vehicle or this is our main character or the object in our game so we'll be giving it a highest quality okay so yeah our vehicle quality has been now changed okay but as you can see it's not affecting so much but it's come 4k to a late hd okay now this is a basically at the material so there's no texture so we don't need to worry about anything also let's add now the optimization so once you do that you can go now project settings and first of all sir go to all settings and search here that au to your auto ex po there make sure that the auto exposure is disabled and once you do that you need to go basically on your sdk so go to sdk and select here your sdk folder and dk folder jdk folder if you don't know how to set up let me know in the comment box uh in next video i'll make how we can set up the sdk and dk and jdk once you do that you can go to android and then here you can set up your com dot package name data this will help you to give a identity identity id any uh, for your game for google play store so you can add anything by after adding com dot okay make sure you need to write this thing in a small letter then you can write anything so for example com dot sajad then you can give your game name at here and then make sure that the installation location is external only or you can change it to auto or anything also and then you need to give it for test if you want to test so you can set up that package game data instead of apk and then make sure there's a compiler will be asked so you need to accept that once you do that you can set up the opengl or balcon whatever version you want once you do that you can go in down and here you can disable that dxtc and astc texture so it will be basically disable that so it will be not include dxtc or astc texture so your game size will be reduct once you do that you can go to now you can go in packaging so go to packaging and at here you can find the include the preservation installer disable that make sure that is in a development you can give it a full rebuild and in the advanced, advanced option you find nothing so you don't need to press anything then just enable this advanced option at here you can now set up the manually your that whatever it's your map basically your main map so in my case that is our main map and then in vehicle templates the map light big data so here's a map and then instead of that maps that is our light map data okay that's all then you can set up the only cap only affected in a cookal okay others uh you don't need to enable because it's automatically enable this all this stuff okay guys so that's all for setups so now you can go to platform 
and then disable all this stuff because you only need for android so it will be not compile anything so target targeted hardware mobile and maximum then you can go to windows and at here make sure that is txt12 and then you can set up here that compiler version like 2019 and yeah pretty much enough at here now you can click on save now you can go to black from android and here you can set up estc once you do that press on package game and you can set any of folder where you want then click on select the folder and now your game is start export now it will be take time depends on your computer uh, processor and others okay depends on that it will be basically export also it will be use your internet connection because it need to uh, download some gradle file from android server so make sure that you have enable your internet connection or it will be not work the pa packaging game data will be not work so make sure you enable okay let's see after the next port okay as you can see successfully now it's export now let's see what if, uh, what is our basically the apk size and so let's go to our file explorer then go to music so here instead of that we found basically our amr and it's as you can see it's only 125 mb so now let's test this thing in our mobile or you can also check this thing in blue stack or whatever it is so in my case i want to test this in my android device so i'll also sh share you the ga mobile gameplay 